going to uh, explain about the conic section which is the one topics in the additional mathematics of grade 10 in the context of the government of Nepal. So about the conic section, I will discuss first about the cone because conic section is the part of the cone, different part of the cone. So I may start first the cone. Now I have the cone, this is the uh, ice cream cone, this is the empty ice cream cones and these cones we have to keep like this and we have to draw out the this portion of the cone then we get the circle so that's why what we say that the cone has the base which is the circular form so in the figure also now look at the here this is the base of the cone which is the circular form so this circle has the center so center has uh, i'm showing in the figure now here o is the center of the circle that is the center of the base of the cone and the cone has another part on the here that is the vertex of the cone now this vertex of the cone and center of the base of the cone when it's joined we get the straight line that straight line is called the vertical height of the cone or the axis of the cone that is shown in the figure now this line is the vertical height of the cone or axis of the cone then now next thing is that this cone which has the base is the circle so we know that circle has the diameter so in the figure here ab is the diameter of the base of the cone that is the circle then a is the one in of the diameter and b is the another end of the diameter then now this end of the diameter a is joined with the vertex p then we get the line that line is called the slant line or we can say that the generator of the cone so in a cone there are the two generator because it is like this this is the diameter when you like this then this point join with the vertex and similar this point join with the vertex then two generator is from now here so this two generator form the angle at the vertex so that angle is called the vertical angle of the cone then now this vertical angle of the cone is divided in two equal halves by the this axis then each half is called the semi vertical angle that is and denoted by alpha in this figure here this angle is the alpha that is semi vertical angle then now next thing is that in the cone in the cone there is another thing is uh, in the cone this vertical height is directly perpendicular to the diameter of the cone yeah? so on the basis of this uh, part of the cone uh, I am taking the one plane surface that I am showing in the figure also this is one plane surface now this plane surface when you cut the cone on the basis of this part that means what this uh, generator this vertical height like this then we get a different uh, geometrical shape yeah? that different geometrical shape is how we got now i am going to show by using the one that solid cone that is i have the carrots so now i am going to start first uh, this cone when you cut with the help of this plane which is parallel to the base of the cone base of the cone or you can say that when the, this plane when you cut perpendicular to the vertical height of the cone then we get the shape yeah? we get the shape this shape look at the, this shape this shape we obtain this geometrical shape we obtain after cutting the cone with the help of the plane parallel to the base then this shape is the circle so what you say that when of cone is cut by the plane parallel to the base of the cone then the geometrical shape is formed that is the circle now next thing is that again now this is the cone yeah because the base is again circle now this cone we have to cut with the help of the plane yes which is not perpendicular to the 
axis and not parallel to the generator, which I am going to show in the figure also. Now, this plane, which is not perpendicular to the axis and not parallel to the generator. In that time, this plane form the angle with this vertical line. That angle is, I am showing here theta. This angle theta is greater than this semi vertical angle alpha and less than the 90 degree because this is not perpendicular to the vertical height. So, this is less than the 90 degree. In that situation, what type of geometrical figure is formed? Let us see now here. I am going to cut this cone with the help of the plane which is not perpendicular to the vertical height and not parallel to the generator. Then we get this, this type of figure, yeah, this is geometrical figure, this geometrical figure is oval, that means this is the shape of the egg. So this shape of the geometrical figure is known as the ellipse. So this second case is that we form the ellipse. Then now third, now third case, third case, now I am going to take next this uh, solid cone. Now this solid cone, I am going to cut with the help of the plane, yes, which is parallel to the, which is parallel to the generator, yes, which is parallel to the generator. Let us see now here, I am going to cut the plane with the help of the cone, with the help of the plane, parallel to the generator. Then now, this shape we obtain, look at the shape, this geometrical shape. This geometrical shape is called the parabola. So third, what do you get that? Parabola. When you get the parabola, the cone is cut by the plane parallel to the generator. Means the plane we have to keep in such a way where the plane makes the angle with the vertical height. That angle is greater than semi-vertical angle and less than the 90 degree. Now, fourth one is that. Now, fourth one is what? Fourth one is now I am going to take next this cone. Now, this cone we are going to cut with the help of the plane parallel to the axis. That is parallel to the axis. Parallel to the axis. Then we get this shape. This shape is known as the hyperbola. This is what the hyperbola. This means hyperbola we obtain after cutting the cone with the help of the plane which is parallel to the vertical height. Then the geometrical form figure we obtain that is the hyperbola. In this way we got the four shapes. One shape we got circle that means cone is cut with the help of the plane parallel to the base Second one is this uh, ellipse, which we obtain yes, when the cone is cut by the plane, which is not perpendicular to the vertical height and not parallel to the generator. And third one, we get the parabola, which we obtain when the cone is cut with the help of the, with the, help of the plane, which is parallel to the generator. And fourth one, we got that hyperbola, which we obtain when the cone is cut with the help of the plane, which is parallel to the ax, uh, vertical height or axis. So these are the different parts of the cone we obtain by cutting the plane surface. Yeah? So this is known as the conic section. Thank you, all of you, those who are going to watch my this video.